Good day subscribers. Today I'm going to show you how to run a Python script from your command line. So before we get into it, a little bit of background. My friend was asking me for some programming tips and I told him about the IDE or text editor that I use, which is called Atom. Atom is great. I really enjoy the program, but one of the issues it has is you can't really run the code within the program. There is a package you can download called Script. If anybody's interested in it, um, you can find lots of tutorials on YouTube on how to get that. Uh, and this package allows you to run certain amounts of Python code in the text editor itself, but not everything. For example, if I run this code, it will print this first line. It'll do the print line. The Python code is running, but it has some trouble with user inputs. I don't use a ton of user inputs in my code, so it's not really an issue for me. But my friend was trying to learn how to make a GUI calculator, so he wanted a way to do inputs. The only way that I know of using the Atom text editor is to run your code through your command line. So today I just wanted to show you guys and show him how to do that. So let's jump right in. First, I'm going to close this out and open up a new command line. To do that, you just press your Windows button and then type CMD and press Enter. That'll open up your command prompt. I'm going to bring it over to the one side. In case anybody doesn't know, to move your windows, you just push the Windows button, hold that down, and then right or left, and that'll move your windows around. As you guys can see, I am currently in my C drive. So the computer I'm running off of has two hard drives. It has a C drive and an E drive. If I move this window over, you guys can see that. Here's my C drive, which is my SSD. That's my bootable. And then I have my E drive, which is my HDD, which is where I save basically all of my programs and all of my information. And here's my code right here, the example.py. That's this code right here, and it's stored just in my E drive. So to move from the C drive to the E drive, all we're gonna do is type E and then a semicolon, and that's gonna move us into our E drive. Now, if it was in a folder, if I had to navigate myself into a folder, so I'll show this again, if I had to navigate myself into this documents folder to get to the program, so let's actually do that. Let's move, I wonder if it'll let me. Yep, let's move the program into the documents folder. To get into it, I'm gonna type CD and then documents. That stands for change directory documents and press enter. Now let's say I went into the wrong one. I could go back by doing CD dot dot and that brings me back but I am going to the documents, so let's go into the documents. Now to check what components are in this folder, I can type in dir, and that's gonna show me everything that's in this folder. And if we look, here's my example.py, there's my code right there, and that's what we wanna run, so we're good. Now I'm gonna type in Python, which is our program, space example.py. So it's Python, and then the name of your program press enter and there it is now it's running it says the Python code is running that's the first line over here in my code now it's a user input is the next thing so now it's waiting for me to what is your channel name all right well our channel name here is computer guy Chris press enter and here's the third line please subscribe to computer guy Chris all right guys thank you for joining me I hope you guys learned something Post a comment if you have any questions. Thanks and subscribe.